Hey, hey, welcome to the channel, everyone. My name is Chris, and if you happen to be new, then we are grateful that you are here. And for everybody else, thanks for coming back and checking us out again. And real quick, if you happen to be in need of some aquatic plants, terrarium tools, some Christopher Scott merchandise, whatever it may be, make sure you check out freshwaterscrub.com and use the code PLANTS for 10% off your order during checkout the entire month of April 2022. Today, we're going to be talking all about baby vampire crabs and if you have seen my previous videos on this subject which you can click the card in the top right hand corner of your screen and go back and watch all of these crab breeding videos then you know we are currently in possession of some baby orange disco vampire crabs that were born right here in the fish room and today we're going to be taking a look at these guys we want to look at rate of growth we want to talk about their setup and we want to talk about what's next for these guys. We also want to go ahead and do a deep clean on their enclosure. So with that, let's get into today's video. This is our baby vampire crab grow out tub. We put this together a few months ago and we wanted to mimic a natural environment for these guys so they could thrive. It's got everything from leaf litter, driftwood, rock, some springtails to be the cleanup crew, everything they need. And today we want to go ahead and do a deep clean on this and get it set back up. And we're going to start by breaking this thing down and taking out all of the debris, leaf litter and such from inside of this tub. We're going to use the top of this tub as kind of a holding area. And the reason is, is because you never know when a baby vampire crab may be hiding amongst the debris and try to escape. Hey, come back here, Johnny. See what I mean? One of them's already trying to get away. But we caught him, and we're gonna get him back into his enclosure. Now that we have all of the elements of this enclosure separated from the actual crabs, it's time to go ahead and start gathering these guys up. These things are super elusive and really in this dirty murky water, the only thing you can really see of them are just their eyeballs sticking out. So let's gather these guys up and get them into this cup so we can get this enclosure cleaned out. Once I've removed all the baby crabs, I want to take one final look through all of this just to make sure that we don't have any left. So when I start to wipe this out with paper towels, I don't accidentally crush any of them. And it looks like we're good. So we can go ahead and start wiping this container out. One thing I will not do is throw anything away until I have a full count of the amount of crabs I've taken out of this container. I know for a fact that I had 11 total when I started, so I'm currently counting them to make sure, and in fact, I'm missing one, so we have to find that guy. Well, I found the missing crab, and unfortunately this little guy didn't make it. But this is just an attestment to why I keep all of the material before I throw it away to make sure that I don't miss anything before putting this enclosure back together. So let's go ahead and get this thing back together. This tub is perfect for this type of habitat because it has a small divot around the inside edge of the tub which allows you to put some small rocks and then fill that up with water. It allows for a nice area in the middle to stay dry. Now we're going to go ahead and add some new leaf litter as well as some of the old leaf litter back into the bottom of this tub. What you just saw there are springtails, and that is dirt from one of my terrariums where I breed springtails. So we're going to turn this bioactive, which will help keep this enclosure clean as well as provide a food source for these crabs. And now there's nothing left but to introduce these guys into the enclosure. And 
this right here is my favorite baby vampire crab, and that's because he's special. And we call him Lefty. Well, the reason we call him Lefty is because he has no legs on the left side. I'm not sure if they've been eaten by one of the other vampire crabs as they are cannibalistic, or if it's a birth defect. But we're going to make sure that we keep an eye on this guy, see if he regenerates those legs, or what goes on with him. As you can tell, he gets around just fine. There's no issues, he can swim, he eats, everything looks good. So we'll keep an eye on him and keep you guys updated on Lefty. All right, let's go ahead and drop some food into this bin and get these guys fed. Well, let's go ahead and get this thing closed back up and put back where it needs to go. Before we get out of here, why don't we walk out here and take a look at these bullfrog tadpoles. We're going to have to sneak up on them because they do like the shallow, so they're going to be up on top of the filtration box, up on top of the rocks that surround the outside of the pond. And when I walk up, they are going to be gone, so we're going to have to do this quick. So let's take a look. Oh my gosh, we have froglets. These guys are growing. They are turning into frogs. Look at that. Do you see that? That is a froglet. He is no longer really a tadpole. That is amazing, guys. Coming in here and looking at our shrimp breeding setups. The shrimp are doing fantastic. Everything is looking good. Some blue shrimp there. And there's one of our yellow shrimp. So this thing is looking fantastic as well. We got yellow, blue, red, and sun-kissed orange. Those are all looking fantastic. Throw a little platinum betta back there in our waterfall tank. If you haven't seen that video, you should definitely check it out. But he is looking great as well. Looking over here at terrariums. Look at this thing. Like, look at the growth in this thing. It is crazy how much this thing is overgrown. And I built this just to breed some isopods in it, which is working fantastic, but it's so overgrown and so cool. I have another one of these boxes that I want to do something with. We'll have to figure out what's going on and how we're going to do that. Do you see that right up there? That is an Exoterra mini tall terrarium and that is what is going to become the new home of our baby vampire crabs. So make sure you stay tuned. It's actually already complete. I'm not showing you in this video, but I have a full build video coming out in a few days that's gonna show you how we're gonna set that thing up. So as I said, the terrarium is fully set up for these guys. So if you wanna see how I built this, make sure you stay tuned for the next video. And you see that wispy little tongue? Hard to get up here because he's up at the top, but that is Gerald. You guys remember Gerald, my corn snake? Did a setup for him last year. I, wanna, I mean, he is massive these days. And Gerald is about to get him a new home as well. So with that, hopefully you went on to enjoy this video. And you like how we're progressing with these baby vampire crabs. I cannot wait to see these things grow into an adult. But I do have a question if you happen to keep vampire crabs. Is the growth rate that we've had over the last five months sufficient for these baby crabs. I've done a little research on that, but I'd like to know what your opinion is. So make sure you drop a comment down below. Also, if you have not subscribed or followed us on Instagram or Facebook, make sure you do that. There are links to both down below, as well as visit freshwaterscrub.com. Use the code plants for 10% off your order. We will be running that code until the end of the month. So pick up all the plants you possibly need. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for coming back and watching another video. And with that, we'll see you next time.